Welcome back, we're heading into episode 15. The last episode was a very nice look into who the second horseman was and just what was actually going on between Dean and Sam and not just, I mean, them two as an one package, but separately, Dean is dead inside. And that's quite sad to hear because that means he has nothing that he truly wants to live for. Whereas Sam has, he fell off the wagon. That's the nicest way to put it. It was a very strong episode, so I'm very interested where they're going to go at this point. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I mean, the end is now. Clay James, wait, bring him back to the dead. They just spoke about Bobby. Is this the... Is this when Bobby's wife comes back? Because I remember he had her in, in a dream, right? But I'm certain she does come back. Just opens the door. You know, during a weather storm. There we go, now he locks it. Too late. Yeah. Uh, dead guy walking. Did he kill this person and then get him revenge? I mean, I'm used to now the opening part being someone dying, usually someone dies. You gave yourself your own nickname. You sure. That, and died made you queen. Queen. Okay. Uh, that's another. Just tell us what you saw. Okay. That's another little reference there to Dean. Is Dean going to be straight at the end of this? Benny Sutton's trailer through the window. A couple minutes later, Clay walked out, and Benny's dead. Clay came back from the grave to get a little payback. That's a bit strange. He's really nice eyes. It's really strange that they just on. come back from the dead. Owen. Put down the cupcake and pick up an apple, okay? I believe we've had the pleasure. Agents Dorfman and Niedermeyer, the FBI. Have How they used these names down? before? Can I ask you what you're doing with Digger here? No, they're doing their job. They believe me, Sheriff. Agent Willis speaking. Agent Willis, this is Sheriff Jody Mills. Bobby? Oh, oh damn. Excuse me? Is this Bobby Singer? The fact that she knew his voice straight away. Bull crap. Whatever the three of you are planning, it ends here. Now. 10 4 on that, agents. Yeah. I mean, they are terrible <laughs> with their little personas. Which is actually a running theme and so much fun to watch. Playing murder ball. Is that soap? Is you clean? What are you, my mother? Bite me. Well, he is really clean. Yeah, he's put himself to. You know, it's his wife, I'm telling you. The devil, if the dead are coming back, he's, he's. And it showed his wife in the opening. His wife. There's a case less than five miles from your house. What, the, the Benny Sutton thing? That's what this is about? You knew about this? Hell yes. yeah. I checked into it already. There's nothing here. Except a witness who saw a dead guy commit murder. What witness? Digger Wells? Yeah. So Trust so the person. Drunk. Well, what about the so were you? They look like omens. Except in February in South Dakota in storm season. That look fresh to you? Yeah, actually. Mm-hmm. Disturbed Earth. I don't know, but something stinks. Yeah, someone's bringing back the dead. I, I guess the, the example of you know the apocalypse is nine. It's like it's your loved ones or the people you heard coming back. But they are zombies, right? So they can't be too safe. He killed me. He shot me in the back. I'm supposed to let him get away with that? Hold up. Are you confessing? Please. I'm yeah, he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Don't wake my kids. You'll go with us. Where? But he Jail. seems pretty normal for someone who died five years ago. And also, how are you not just decayed? Ben Thompson, and you died five years ago. Yes. And three days ago, you climbed out of your grave and you killed Benny Sutton. Yes. So you are, in fact, a dead guy. I guess. I, I, I don't know what I am. 
Catching the undead killer zombie. Whatever he is or isn't, that don't give you the right to shoot him in the middle of the street. Shoot me? You're free to go, Mr. Thompson. Free to go? Hold on! You're gonna kill me. You're a zombie. I'm a taxpayer. Uh, you're dead, first of all, so you're not a taxpayer anymore. So she knew about this, and you used to allow these people to walk freely around? I didn't realize you were being company. It's 4 a.m., babe. You didn't need How long ago did she die? Please, I'll get some more plates. I can't remember, because they don't really know her. Who was that? Karen, my wife. Your new wife? My dead wife? My dead wife. I mean, whatever that thing is in there, it is not your wife. And how do you know that? Are you serious? You think I'm an idiot, boy? My dead wife shows up on my doorstep. I'm not going to test her every way I ever learned. But yet, no, Bobby. Zombies but I get it, because it's I someone you love. She's got no scars, no wounds, no reaction to salt, silver, holy water. Bobby, she crawled out of her coffin. No, she didn't. I cremated her. Somehow. What? Way, she's back. That's impossible. Tell me about it. You bury your ashes? Yeah. Where? In the cemetery. She doesn't remember anything, you know? What do you mean? Being possessed. Me killing her. For it's coming true. back. Bobby. You cremated her. Bobby me. And I know what you think you're gonna do. But I'm begging you. Please. Please. Leave her be. So what do you think? Did you bake all these? I don't know what it is since I got back. I can't stop baking. I don't want you done to sleep. I don't. She can't. It's the excitement. Or being dead. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, no, that was... Trust me. Why would you say that? Come on, Dean. That's why you're here, isn't it? I like he was like, well, you are dead. This is what I'm interested about. What happens to the ones who rose up? Do they turn eventually? Because it would make sense that they lure you in to thinking everything's okay and then they turn eventually. It may be like in a few months. Ezra Jones? <coughs> Come closer. Oh, no, thank you. I'll, I'll stay over here. Fall over here. So thank you. What is it? You think maybe you could tell me from here? Mm-hmm. <coughs> Lovely. Well, damn. So she was just doing it as a trick, so they do turn. Oh, she dribbled all over him. I will handle it. My way. This is dangerous. I'm not telling you twice. Oh, Bobby, yeah. You can see it in his eyes. I'm just gonna make you some soup, okay? Okay. I don't know what else to tell you, Doc. We checked the thermometer three times. His temperature is 111 degrees. Hold on, Doc. Can you take that into him? Oh, you should never no, do that. There's a reason why they shoot his hands like that. Sean? What did I say? The dad was gonna go. Owen? Behind the couch? He moved that dad quickly, by the way, to have the blood like that. Like, this is really quick. It's too late. My He's dead. Not my son. You're right, it wasn't. Listen, Sheriff, your town is in danger. People are in danger, and we need to help them now. Can you do that for me? Can you focus for me, Sheriff? <sighs> Sheriff? I'm hungry for you do so bad for them. They got something back that they lost. But they... It's happening. And she knows. I really like her. No. It's not. I'm turning Bobby. See? She... I know I am.
Or they did that whole separate. So, is that? They're wasting a lot of their bullets. Kind of a tight fit, don't you think? It's all right, they're idiots. I can't pick a lock. Wanna bet? Yeah, I think yes, they can. Don't you ever get tired of being wrong? I'm making this stuff up as I go. Sue me. Oh, and then hits the camera. That's a lot. But why did they come? Bobby knows why. I don't know. She lost everything. Hey, look, I don't know squat from Shinola about love, but at least you got to spend five days with her, right? Right. Yeah. Don't think that makes it better. A thousand times worse. Because you've got those five days. She was the love of my life. How many times do I gotta kill her? You have to let him heal. It's literally in front of all of you. Oh, this was such a good episode. So that was a mix of what I was speaking about in the previous episode in terms of where this episode was going to go. It still had elements of the main thread, but it also felt slightly separate from it. It was nice to have Bobby back, uh, kind of. Oh, uh, I am curious, how would you feel if a person or someone you love that you lost rose from the dead and they seemed fine at first? I feel like a lot of us would have been the townsfolk, just uh, clinging onto the possibility that everything is okay, but they were dead. And, oh, everything that was about it was sad, it was beautiful, it was bittersweet, because they lost something. In the end, the sheriff lost her whole family. Her husband's gone as well. Bobby once again had to put his wife down. It's just such a sad episode, but it makes sense because this has kind of taken Bobby out. And I don't know if this means that we won't see him until later on in the season, or if at all anymore. He's a great actor. I don't know, it was just so sad, because Death, one of the horsemen, he made sure to leave a message for Bobby. I, it was just everything about it, because when they came back, obviously we're introduced to one of them coming back and then killing someone who killed him. But then after that, they just they went on with their regular day-to-day -day life, but they'd all been dead at different periods. I just, I can't imagine how that feels. And it was acted really well. You know, we're seeing the whole Dean business like get to it, you know, dead inside. Sam, as usual, feels guilt. But yeah, just kind of seeing what they went through the trauma and then seeing the dead turn made sense. There's quite a lot. There was way more than the 15 to 20, I think, that they were saying. All, but still, it was still a, a, a significant amount of people to come back for different means and Bobby saying he cremated his wife as well which makes sense they're hunters I don't know why I didn't think of that they don't bury them for this reason but I don't know where they're gonna go from here because it feels like they're stripping away everything that Dean and Sam can turn to and feel comfort with and leave them alone we lost Ellen and Joe we've lost Bobby, kind of in this moment, <laughs> what do you do? Because it feels as if they are taking everything from them so that they will say yes in the end, the big fight. I don't know. Um, how do you retrap Lucifer? Really good episode. Thank you for watching.